Every young athlete dreams of representing their country in the Olympics. Saya is about to wear the green and gold, but not just that, she will make her Olympic debut in Tokyo, the country she grew up in. I'm sure there's been lots of people who have supported you throughout your entire career and yeah. particularly in this last 18 months when it's been a really difficult time. Mm -hmm. How have those people sort of supported you and, and why are they so important? I think these past 18 months has been difficult for everyone in some way and for myself there's just so many people that I you know thank, I want to thank because they've been so supportive through everything so I think especially straight after the accident like the BMX community have been absolutely amazing and you know rallying up behind Kai and being so supportive of him and us and just you know just showing so much support to keep our you know our chin up and being positive which really helped through the you know the, the tough times at the start but I think with you know, all businesses as well. Like I give so much credit to my sponsors like Red Bull and Oakley and uh, my bike sponsor DK. They've been so, they've just supported me through all these years. Also like just my family. They, like I said, they've been huge supporters from day one. And it's been so, such an emotional ride for these past 18 months, but it's all coming to the pointy end now um, in, in, in the lead up to the Olympics now. So, and a huge thank you to, you know, my coaches. They are literally have been working around the clock with me, especially like constantly adapting when things change, uh, races get canceled, and then, you know, putting a plan together um, as a team to get me in the best shape possible at the Olympic Games and they put countless hours in there so oh, a huge thank you to yeah, James Tennant and uh, Wade Boots and Eric Harkinson, they were just absolute legends. Getting the call for the Olympics, how does it happen? Does someone call you to get an email, letter in the mail, like what's the logistics of it? I was leading the Australian women's uh, for BMX, so I, I had a pretty good idea, but it make, makes such a big difference when you actually get that call for someone to say those words. And then I got the email, and then a couple of a couple of weeks later, we were able to get the you know the Qantas boarding <laughs> pass ticket. Oh my gosh, that was probably almost the best best almost like my best day of my life because I was just looking down at my name and it said Tokyo Olympic Games. I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is real. Who was the first person you told or first people that you told when you got that initial call and wrote in the diary and then who did you pick up the phone and, and tell? I called my brother. I called Kai and uh, I, put on, I put him on FaceTime and my mum was there as well. So I was able to officially tell them uh, that I got selected and they were super stoked. They were so thrilled. And obviously like my parents and Kai have been such huge supporters from day one and to be able to share that kind of news with them and you know hear that kind of response is so special. It's crazy now, it's only a couple of weeks away and I can't believe it's we actually gone to this point because when you think about it like we've been thinking about this Olympics for an extra 12 months than we usually do. Uh, we're preparing and just being, you know, immersely in the environment of training for the Olympics it has been so long and it's like, finally, it's on its last legs. It's, it's crazy.